Hello guys, today I'm showing you the Jackson MJ series SL2 in white. I did just recently buy this. I was a little skeptical on buying this Japanese guitar. There's not any of them really out there in stores to try or, or demo, so I was just kind of going off of um, a few other YouTube videos that have, have already purchased them. So it was either this or a USA Select series um, that I was gonna do in white. And for the price, I was kind of like, oh, if I spend about another thousand or fifteen hundred more, I can get the USA. But I decided to go with this, try it out. There are a few things on here that I do like over the USA. Um, one being the direct mount for the pickups instead of the pickup covers. So I went ahead and got this. So this is a 25 and a half scale length the Alder body. It's a three piece maple neck, graphite reinforced. I do like that you get the matching headstock with it. It is your standard 12 to 16 compound radius that Jackson does, and it has the ebony fingerboard with the perloid shark fins. I've noticed also on this one, the perloid and the shark fins seem to be a little bit more, I guess, pronounced, or it's more pearl to me than I think the Dinky series. I don't know if you've noticed any difference, but I've seen videos of the Dinky, and it doesn't really shine. The pearl doesn't really come out as much as it does in here. I can see it in person right here. And I did see just recently a Jackson uh, Black Ash Dinky at a guitar center like a day after I got this and I got to play that there to see the difference. And there's definitely something with the shark fin inlays on that on the Dinky is just not as nice as um, this SL model. And it comes up in videos. I I'm not sure why, but I do like how it looks on here. So pickups in here are the Seymour Duncan, JB, and the Bridge, and the Jazz in the neck. I'm not big on Seymour Duncan's demo I did record with them. I actually had just installed EMG pickups in here, which I'm actually gonna show you at the end of this video. So another thing that I'm not familiar with is this tremolo system. It is a go-to, uh, which is different. I've never used one or try, tried one. To me, it feels it's very similar to the Floyd Rose. It feels a little bit smoother almost in a way. It doesn't feel like you have to push much pressure on the, I don't know if that's to do with the springs that it comes with or something, but it does feel nice. Um, another real nice thing about this guitar is the Luminate side dots. You don't really see them on Jackson's. They just kind of started doing them, and which I really like. I'm glad they're going in that direction. So that's really cool that it's on this guitar. So my overall with the guitar so far, um, there was one thing when I first got it, which was a down side to it, I did have a dead fret on the 14th fret. And I, when I received it, the action was really high. I could fit my whole finger almost under it. So I did lower it just a little bit, just from the actual Floyd, it's, uh, or the, the go-to itself. Um, and I didn't do it much, but it was just enough to like, now when I was playing, I was getting that dead fret right there on the 14th fret. So spending over $2,500 on this guitar and then receiving it and having that dead fret really sucks. So I did have that taken care of with uh, my luthier who put in the, the pickups for me and um, took care of that dead fret. Um, other than that, everything else is pretty flawless on it. The frets are really nice besides that dead fret. Everything else feels good on it. Um, the neck feels solid. It does feel more premium than the Pro Series neck. It does sound good. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to now just show you quickly what I did with a couple mods. Um, one being the EMG pickups is an 81 and 60. I did take out the tone knob and put in a kill switch and I moved the volume down you know, to where the tone was just because I, I personally don't really need to use a tone it doesn't really do anything for me so just to kind of get out of the way I just thought it'd be cool to put a kill switch in there so now that I have this with my EMGs and the dead fret gone um, I gotta say that it's it's a pretty solid guitar I'm pretty happy with it um, I will do a follow-up probably in the next month or so to see how it feels playing it more so um, that's all for now so thanks for watching